Are you looking for engaging activities for your English language learners that involve writing that they will not only enjoy, but then they will also want to write more? Well, by the end of this video, I'm going to show you three activities that your students will not only enjoy, but they're going to learn valuable writing skills using the popular app called TikTok. Don't worry, if you or your students do not have access to this app, you can still incorporate these activities in your classroom. For weekly language teaching tips, resources, strategies, games, and more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a Wednesday video. My students' excitement to write has soared since ever since I implemented these three simple activities. My students enjoy watching each other's TikTok responses and then they're more willing to do follow-up writing activities that I will show you. At the end of many of my lessons, I like to have my students reflect on that day's learning so that I can assess what they have learned by writing a quick exit ticket. And it's just a simple sheet of paper where they might have an assignment where they might write one thing they've learned and a question that they may have. So if I did it in a TikTok form, it would look a little bit like this. Well, I learned today that toilets flush in the key of E flat. But my question is, what was the person doing when they found this out? For your newcomer students and your beginners, what you can do is have a sentence them on the board as well as a word bank so that they can complete the sentence independently. If they don't feel comfortable completing the TikTok, that is absolutely fine. You can just have them write on an exit ticket as you normally would have them do. For activity number two, you can have your students write a quick summary of maybe one to two or three sentences of what they learned, a reaction, or anything of that matter to the content that you learned that day. And if you have them do it in a TikTok form, it would look like this. So in today's class, we watched a little excerpt from Star Wars and then we read the script and it was about a talking frog who convinces his son to kill his dad. To modify this lesson for your newcomer students, you can have them a draw a picture as a picture that will summarize what they've read or their reaction to the story. And then for the TikTok aspect, they can actually do the free draw right in front of the video. And then for your students who are at the beginner towards the intermediate levels, you can have them complete a paragraph frame and then you can have a word bank as a support if needed so they know what are their options where they can fill in the paragraph frame and then they can read it directly to the video. And if they, again, if they don't feel comfortable, they can just simply submit the writing paragraph frame. This last activity is probably my students' favorite activity, and it's where they find a song that's either a reaction or summarizes what they thought the story was about. For example, if the story was sad that we covered in class, their TikTok might look a little bit like this. In this activity, you're going to want to aid your students in finding the appropriate hashtags, stickers, and of course a song that is appropriate that connects with the theme. As well as what I really like about this activity is that for students who are newcomers and beginners, they don't even have to sing anything or they don't even have to lip sync if they don't feel comfortable. Just simply pantomiming or dancing will emulate how they feel and their reaction to the story. I have titles of two books that I highly recommend for your students if you're looking for ways to increase the creativity and get your students writing in class. The first book is called Cliffhanger Writing Prompts, 31 Page Story Starters That Fire Up Kids. And the second book is called Story Manic Classic, which is more in the form of games and the students can tell stories in a game format and they have other activities as well. And it's more in the way of a warm up so that your students get ready for other types of writing that you will implement in your classroom. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and share with your colleagues. If you're looking for more activities to engage your students in class, make sure to check out this video as well as the other videos in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for more tips, strategies, and resources for the English language learners in your classroom.